Alright, I'm back. I did finish shopping off off screen, I'm sorry. You missed me buying a couple of balls and some potions. Well, since he's level up. Basically, the plan for Mount Moon is to repel through most of it. And then fight the trainers. And then what I had meant to do was, like, put a strong Pokemon up front. So that way I don't run into most things. Then we repel and we get stuff. Ah, look at that. Bullet seed. And then you swap Pokemon right before the fight. You want to try these hardest. Oh. Yep. More peas. Aren't they the range peas too? Nope. Okay, I can shut the fan off now again. It's not as bad because I so went open. Lightly salted. Now the thing is, is he can actually beat this Weedle because. It's one damage versus more than one damage. But we're gonna speed through this. Because I was sitting here crunching on my peas and then my eyes just shut and my head just almost. <gasps> Raptor! But you know that we are losing health but not losing the race. Which is really just terrible. I gotta be ready for whatever he sends in next. You can get Thief in here, which you can teach to Zubat, but the problem is it learns Bite pretty early on, too. So it's almost a waste of a Thief TM. I have a plan. struggle in this generation doesn't do that much damage. Because it's based on the damage you receive. Or the damage you do. Which in other generations it'll do just like an eighth of your hit points regardless. So struggle is bad. Because they don't want you throwing your Pokemon physically against the Kakuna until it dies. Wee wee wee. But that is the only way to optimize Zubat's damage. Annoyingly, I think we're going to learn Supersonic right now. Oh no, we didn't. Hooray, that means we can still do a little bit of struggling. Must mean we won't learn it next level. Anyway, one potion. Just to make sure we avoid everything, I'll switch to Agile. One Parles heal, in case I get Parles. Stop here. I went to go grab another one of my pea snacks and my character in the game farted, so I thought the pea snacks farted. This Clefairy can be super annoying. Because it was encore, sing. Of course, sing gonna hit right away. I'm just saying, sing never hits when we use it. How am I out of peck? And I didn't see that. I thought I healed, but I forgot. Oh well. I just split the experience in more ways than one. While I slowly munch this really terrible protein bar that is pretending to be a peanut butter cookie. Angry at oh my god, it is thick. You it's... didn't. You didn't even pull it out of the package, huh? Look. No, I I could see the thickness. It made me upset. It's also not taste. Doesn't taste good. No, it doesn't even taste like peanut butter. 
Have you ever ate one of those really gross, like, uh, protein bars? And we actually only ordered three of them instead of two of them, so... It's Stop really putting me to sleep! Oops. Yeah, that was an impeccable move on my time. Not having any, not not remembering to heal. Just zap the damn thing! Hooray, perils! Uh, I'm gonna risk it. Damn it! Did you just die? No, I just lost Pikachu. Like, what are the odds of a paralyzed Clefairy getting three double slaps twice in a row? A hundred percent. Quick attack it. Oh, now you're paralyzed. You want to see? Now you use Encore, like. Once you're done slapping some sense into me, Clefairy, I get it. Oh, man. That means I wasted the potion, because I gotta heal so I can get the... ...get the stuff back. I'm not gonna lie, I knew Pikachu wouldn't stay on the team for super long, but I didn't expect it would be until Misty got some critical hit or some other bullshit. Alright, you heal, I gotta fix this. Yep. Pikachu is dead. But we got a Zubat! Okay. Actually, the repels are something I basically only do for the benefit of the stream, too, because if it were just me, I would just run. But it takes forever. I might skip that Magnemite Voltorb guy down there. Actually, this matchup is less than ideal. Because Tackle will do far more damage than um, Poison Sting. Good crit. Probably not necessary, but good crit. making them listen to the turbo sound while I speed through this Metapod battle, using Leech Life. That's 
really care about. Not that, but the fact that there was 666 spark powder made. This is the rare candy. I know what he's fight hiding isn't worth it. Whoops. That's fine. I don't normally skip him, but... Oh, floor is a very useful function. We just don't have any worthwhile way of taking care of him. Like, I could leech seed him, but... I don't remember if it has Sonic Boom or not. I know it's got Thundershock. So, we're better off just completely skipping that. This item. That, that dude. This is a good fight for Optimize, too. Oh, yeah. That'll be one of the biggest differences depending on what language you're using, because it's import for Python. Other places do like using, or there are other import ones that do import too. So I think I gain two and lose one. Yeah. So we'll gain some hit points off of this, but it's gonna. Really, the turn they use Absorb is just us trading one hit point. Because I gain two, they do one, they gain one. But like I said, good fight for Optimize. Critical struggle. You're about as disappointing as a peanut plant-based peanut butter cookie. Poor baby wee. Yeah. Slap the potion on him. Let's go. Yeah, what do you got? You got a Zubat? This is a good fight, too. Super Sonic's 11, because this one has it. I know it does. Oh, so we are speed tied. I thought I was just faster. No, oh, no, a critical leech life for one damage. I'd like to imagine struggle is me just grabbing my Zubat and beating them on the head with it. Like, look, my Zubat's attacking yours! Urgh! Urgh! Damage! You don't want those? I mean, I might have some. I told you, supersonic level 11. Nah, right. this is gonna be Ekans. Yeah. Mm. I was gonna say we can stay in against Ekans and do at least one thing, but it knows rap, so let's just get the hell out of there now. Told you. 
Hey, everybody watching. And I was like, because I, I said Ekans knows rap. Because I always forget Ekans knows rap. And then I end up leaving somebody in weak, and then they get rapped, and I go like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. How do you forget Ekans knows rap? When it's just because rap is one of the first moves I throw away. Also, starting with a Jatini in, gen in almost any of these games is ridiculously hard, because at level 5, rap is its only damaging move, which is garbage. Yeah, we have surprisingly few rats for the rat gang. Is it really garbage, hon? Then you die by it? Yes, because I only die by it because I play this game terribly. Fair. I know there are other people who will be playing this and they're like, Why are you going in at such low health? Did I get the Moonstone? Or whatever that was. Okay, I did. Stop eating that garbage cookie for now. I'm actually surprised we didn't kill there. Why you got a tail whip? Do it again. I'm risking it. Okay, we're faster. I wasn't sure if we were faster or tired, and that was a stupid risk, but... I did it. It's fine. I'm sure one of these little octopuses. I like these little octopuses, Weaker. Yeah, they're good. They also, like, sometimes if you don't see the top part of it, it looks like a weird, creepy, sour hand. Oh. I don't like the lemon and horn one. Break through its defenses with a supersonic. So I am going to let this thing beat itself up for a bit while I waste PP for Supersonic. If we get low on health, I'll stop. But being able to struggle with Zubat is one of the best things to do with Zubat. And it can't hurt us too bad. Oh, come on. Alright, we're out of there. But hey, we used up like half of it. Do me a favor. Just take care of this. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. You, you you helped me with my problem. You removed that blocker. Ah! Smooth.
And actually, you're a trainer. I forgot. Fun fact, the Moonstones are absolutely useless in this run. Oh wait, no, that's not true. In Wigglytuff is still on the list. That's it. Clefable is not. Definitely none of the Nidos. Hold on. Supersonic. This thing shouldn't have any rock moves that I need to worry about. I'm going to say, in my opinion, one of the strangest Pokémon to have on the list that absolutely is is uh, Clefairy, or not Clefairy, uh, Chansey. It's because at, at level 1, its stats in this game are 5 defense and 5 special defense. But it's got like 250 value for its uh, attack. Or not attack, defense. Actually... Not defense, health. God, its attack and defense are just so garbage that it stays on the list. Despite having almost max HP. <laughs> oh no, Geodude because of everyone in mud. I can't electrocute the rock anymore. I might as well use up the Supersonic now, because it's not like it's going to stay in if I pull it into another Pokémon. The tackle shouldn't kill. Slap. How'd all that defense curl do out for you? at the same level. Yes! I always debate often if I should get rid of Tackle and leave in Poison Powder. Because Leak Seed and Sleep is just so overpowered. But Tackle is one of its only other moves. Leech Seed and Poison Powder used to be bugged out and do way more damage. But it's still just nice, because it's... You know what, it's probably a faster kill than... ...than that. But I don't need Stun Swore. Slap. Hey, sure. Don't play with broken glass, with broken light bulbs. They're not broken glass, but... Come here. Stop that. No, like, come here. You move these over here so you stop playing with them. There. Dumb cat. I love this dumb cat. But as I was trying to shoo her off of a grocery bag full of burnt light, burnt out light bulbs, she was just standing there on the bag like, What am I doing, huh? I'm confused. I know there's some hidden items here, I just can never remember where.
and I genuinely don't think they're worth getting. I know this is just a revive, but I get it every time because I forget. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. That could be bad news. In very many different ways that can be bad. I don't trust your ability to take a hit. I'd rather risk losing metrics than... Then Rattata. Yep. Saw that coming. God. Uh, twice. No, there goes the rat. Quit turning down the volume. That's okay, we at least have Zuba. Stop using defense curl. <laughs> Pancake does not want the rat to die, huh? I mean, I have a revive. It's your channel points. I will honor this. Scrum lives another day. I'm surprised it did Tail Whip again, too. I believe I'm out of repels now. Because I messed up my repellage. But that's okay, we'll just run. Did I remember to pick up the TM for Thief? Okay, I did. Let's go. So their entire plan was to get the fossils and revive them for money. I'm wondering if their plan would have been like, dude, once we revive the fossils, we can start selling them out of the game corner. Oh, sure, here you go for tackle. Oh. I want to have my own quick attack. Do you want me to take the Helix Fossil this time? I normally take the Dome Fossil because I like Kabuto and Kabutops more, but I can't get Kabutops or Amastar. I can't get either of them. So it stays at whichever base form it is.
I also feel that ever since Twitch plays Pokemon, everyone takes the Helix Fossil so they can make a Lord Helix joke. That's the other reason why I like Kabuto. Also, one of the few drawings I ever did that I'm proud of and still like, I liked it enough to scan it, was of a Kabutops. Fighting an Onyx. Alright, let's get the second Moonstone, because, you know... We'll never use it. That's fine. Oops, that's not the fast button. That's not the fast button. That's the what do I do in this situation. That's the button you never press. You don't press that button. If uh, these there bide. It's like, you can't, I, I tried that once. I walked in, saw some g stuff on the floor, and I'm like, that's mine, I found it. Oh yeah, I forgot about the fish that beat Pokemon. That was an interesting feat, too. I never got to watch either of them. I just heard about, like, I I've seen videos on them. That's two crits in a row. The only thing I really like about Twitch plays Pokemon was the chaos of like they accidentally open up the mint, they accidentally open up the um, box and release garbage like half their team. The thing about this Voltorb is it doesn't actually know electric moves because the only electric move Voltorb knows is charge. It's still gonna probably use charge because it's like that's an electric attack. It's super effective. Yeah, I only watched like a news clip of the Twitch, of the uh, fish one. But still interesting. Undead Scrum is kicking ass. I should be enough to get bite. Oh damn, is it 14? is a surprisingly bulky coughing. Okay, we die to attack. We die to a crit. I'll swap out. Normally I'd risk it. Leech Seeds are actually the most damaging move right now. I had already forgotten that we got rid of, um, Tackle. Put it to sleep so I don't have to get, take any more damage. Alright, that's the last trainer. Once again, everybody who can learn Mega Kick and Mega Punch is dead. I was going to put that on Pikachu. And Mankey. Clefairy. 
You would have been nice. I feel like I feel like a Bulbasaur could learn a kick. Wait. Alright, well. How's the team doing? Beat up enough that I should go to the box for, that I should go heal up first. Well, somebody's killing our metrics. By the way, a little, little mentioned tip in these early games. If you want to heal, but for some reason don't have access to a uh, Pokemon Center like you're at the daycare, just put your Pokemon in the box and pull it out. It comes out fully healed. It's also a strategy for healing and keeping Zubat able to use Struggle. But that's fine, because we're going to switch train him. I'll fix the update. I'll update the display in just a second. I figure we might as well get this out of the way first. Let's see what it's going to be. Let's put it to sleep. Can we just put it in the ball? God damn it, just get in the ball. I don't want to risk hitting you. Especially level 8. I'm already going to have to switch train you. But, this is actually a good use for our rock tomb. There we go, now I need a name. Hmm... Delete that. Put this back on the menu. Mainly because there was a chance we just got another Spiro back. That's why I didn't want to update the display yet. have to drill down into this issue right here. Oh, no, I can put the space. I'm dumb. I can language. The drill that will pierce the heavens. You know what's funny is I know that quote and I know it's from a thing, but I don't even I don't know what it is from. Like I just I've just seen it used around so much. But this is our absolute best use of Rock's tomb right now. Hooray! Answer to birds. I'm almost curious if it would be worth to use Bullet Seed. Its power is not great, but Vine Whip. Well, no, because it's just three Vine Whips or three power bullets are still better than or Vine Whip still better slightly. I 
Okay, I guess it was worse. We did catch a level 8 one. Ours is apparently the slowest one, but... That's pretty good damage. And if she can finish the battle on her own... Yeah, I've never seen Gurren Logan. I'm also pretty sure there was a reference to it in um, Drone Tactics, of all things. Yeah, I just don't watch shows as often as I'd like to. Oh, Scrum should be able to handle this. I really want to get Hyper Fang. enough to give me hyper thing. I would be happy if it was. No. Haha, <laughs> low kick does nothing. I mean, my most damaging move is still supersonic, but at least low kick does nothing. I think between episodes, I'm going to have to look up if we can learn Fly on Zubat. I don't think you can. I don't think you can learn Fly until Crobat. But that would be great if we could learn Fly on Zubat, because it would just be hilarious. Let's be real. Astonish is probably better. Yeah. But you hitting yourself is even stronger. leer at me. I'm still gonna... I'm just gonna take one hit point, please. Oh my goodness. I, not on I don't have webcam on, so it would be a pain to show you even how I was, but ever since I kicked the cat off of the bag, she's just been sitting where the bag was and is sulking. Like, back turned to me, head tilted to be like, look, I'm upset at you. I want you to know that I'm upset at you. We've got one whole level out of that. That's better than none whole levels. And we crushed those metrics. Yeah, we lost... We lost our metrics. Technically, we lost a rat, too, but Pancake says no. Rat does not die now. Rat must live. And uh, who am I to argue with my customers? We're customer focused here on this stream. We are centric to your needs. Didn't make the metrics this period. <laughs> no bonus. Yeah, that's about right. like rock tomb because I just have to imagine them slowly like not just hitting you with one rock but I'm burying you in rocks yeah my bonus tends to be based on company the entire company not just me as an individual it's the company decides it and then the manager allocates the bonus given to their pool based on performance of the individuals and goals you set 
I should not be keeping drill down in. I should be changing. Also, I forgot that, but that's fine. I wanted to. I'm going to pretend that I wanted to lower speed. That's okay, because this is going to be the battle that gets us that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure how mine are based entirely on how we're doing in sales. Because if they beat their sales goal, then they have the money to fund the bonuses. That sort of stuff. Then again, the last bonus I got was a sign-on bonus, so... Yes! Alright, we're ready. Honestly, I probably should have grinded up a little more before we went into Mount Moon, but... I didn't think we would need Hyperfang. OSAP B2B sounds like something somebody made up. I do like how accuracy is not in there. As long as you're getting the orders out fast, they can all be wrong. Sounds like my experience with DoorDash. Yeah, bottom to boxes sounds like a term somebody would make up for fast food. Like, here's what that phrase means to us! And they do a song and dance battle on some... some big call. I drop rocks on you, die. Oh, I think what they call us... I think what they call that in my business is the, the net promoter promoter score, where you ignore all of the middle values and only worry about people who are on the lower end and the higher end of the scale. You think it's bad now? Wait till you get into software. Then you'll have to drill down into things. You're going to do meetings about... Talk, you'll, you'll do meetings about planning meetings... So you can better do the meeting that you've planned about planning a meeting. And then when you mention having too many meetings, I'll be like, you know, you have the power to tell people no and not go to meetings. And you're like, you're the one setting all my meetings, boss. These are your meetings. They're not just me picking random meetings. Because you'll get too many thumbs up. Having a scale makes it more likely people are going to rate it better. And also going to um, swap that shit around. Also going to not vote if they're like, eh, in the middle. If you do a thumbs up, thumbs down, people will just spam thumbs down. Because think of me as a, as a person. I'd be like, well, Wendy's forgot my messed up my spicy chicken sandwich, but it was really I just had to throw a tomato and lettuce away, and that's fine. Don't bother rating it. But if it was a thumbs down, I'm like, they fucked up my lettuce. Thumbs down. One button. Yeah. It's because those are the people that are more likely to recommend or complain about or, or not recommend your business. The people in the middle, they're probably fine. You don't care about it. They do that same sort of thing in, like, everything. The net promoter, promoter score they use for most software companies is based out of 10, and they only pay attention to 8s, 9s, and 10s. Which is basically the same thing, except they're including 8. Yeah, that sounds about right.
Did we ever actually look at Drill Down's nature? Oh, sassy. I think that's useless. I don't know what your other ability is, if it's Sand Vale is the best one. I don't remember a lot about Sand True. Is that their only ability? I do know I think Sandshrew is cute. I think Sandshrew is cute, and I think Sand Slash is cool. Oh, for sure. I mean, it's skewed like that everywhere that reviews happen, but it's worse for fast food. I think my funnest one of those surveys I've ever seen was in a bathroom in an airport. There was a giant stand as you were leaving that was like, how is this bathroom from a from a smiley face to a frowny face? And it's like, I don't know that those buttons are things I want to touch after washing my hands in the bathroom. Yeah, but I'm too lazy to care about the free chicken sandwich because then I have to eat two chicken sandwiches. Also, the surveys are like buttons. Man, that's like a couple of clicks. Yeah, like, I've already coded surveys before, actually doing them. Cool, I think sometime soon, near future, I'm gonna have a new, uh... I have a friend working on a Twitch icon and banner. Yeah, that's way too many questions for a free chicken sandwich. I could just buy a chicken sandwich in the time it takes to take the survey. Yeah, it's looking really nice. It would have probably been closer to done, like, already done today, except that I fell asleep while they were working on it, so I didn't sell them. It looked good until this morning. Yeah, that's the other thing, is it... Oh, wait, that... Yeah, if you have to buy the individual chicken sandwich, I almost always want a combo. And I know they do that sort of crap on purpose to discourage people from using the free things. And you know what? Fair. Like, your business couldn't survive if you were just giving away chicken sandwiches left and right. That's why you gotta make it a pain. It's like with UPCs and jumping through hoops. Make it difficult. And put stipulations on it so you're unlikely to do it, but it's still technically free. Or you're likely to do it wrong. That's the same reason why um, companies stop doing, like... A lot of companies stop doing instant cash back, like, oh, you spend $100, you get $20 here. Instead, it's like, oh, you spend $100? Well, we'll give you a gift card that will activate in two months, but only for that month that it activates. It's the same crap. Like Hot Topic Bucks, where they're only good, but they're not good for like three weeks, and then they expire in two, two weeks after that, because they make it harder to use. 
so far the only place I've ever seen that 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 I actually get to use those on and it works well is Petco because we're at Petco too damn often and they automatically get loaded to my account so every now and then just be like you got like three or four or five dollar coupon five dollars off it's like yeah just stack them all on now and the Smith's gas card that one I used the hell out of when when driving was a thing I did more often Oh yeah, no, they're not all bad. I'm just saying, usually they start to edge towards not being super friendly because it's better for them to offer it, but have not people not use it. You're not supposed to miss like that. I really prefer you not to miss. Didn't I just tell you to stop missing? Rude. Alright, well, I gotta switch you out now. Check this out. Chomp. Whoops, I forgot I was gonna go. I'm out of rock tombs. Eh. I can probably scratch a spear out of death. I'm dead to a crit, but that's okay. Because I can optimize this situation. We didn't have to switch out. But all I need to do is at least one damage. And if there's one thing optimize can do is at least one damage. Healing. Running. Running. Rocking. Get it, because rock tomb. That was a funny joke. Hey, Shy, I want you to grow thumbs so you can go open the door for me, because it's warm in here again. Why tackle of all things? Just keep me out grinding longer. speed through this. I'm just hoping to get through the next rival fight, really. But I want to get at least to 15 before that. Honestly, 16 or 17 is better, but at least a 15.
instantly snapping out of confusion. That's bullshit. Oof. Just eat it, let's go. Back to heal. Let me go get this before I forget. I like it when you just use defense girl. These of Sentry here give pretty decent experience. I use up my potions now so I don't have to go keep healing. That was actually kind of scary. Nice, we're finally starting to outspeed the Rattatas after a rock tune. Next goal is I want bat is I want bite on Rattata. Or not Rattata on Zubat. Cause bite is actually super helpful. Actually we can take that. That's fine. Bite, please. Damn it, it's 15. It's still worth to get bite. They're happy. Synergy evolved. That's fine. That's your peak of evolution right here, buddy. You will never get any better than that. You're not allowed to, unfortunately. I think the only person who's going to level up 
No, they're not the only evolution pre Misty. But one of the only ones. So if I remember correctly, Sand Slash and well Zubat can't evolve. I gotta remember that. Because I actually always remember Golbat being kinda garbage, but its stats are slightly better than average. And Sand Shrew is level 22. Good crit. One more, come on. The, an the animation for Astonish in the newer games is one of my favorite things ever. Because the Pokemon just turns around and then suddenly, like, jump tries to jump scare them by turning around really fast. Is it 16 for Bite? God damn it. I mean, I think we can do it now. I feel like one more level might be safer. Ah, screw it, let's do one more level. Stop missing your rock attacks, please. Go heal up. Once again. I apologize for the turbo, but trust me, it's making your life easier. Optimize is done. Now bite. Thank you.
Not that bite is great, but it's special attack based, but also it's fucking double the power of Astonish. And triple the power of Leech Life. If you multiply the moves together, that's the only way to make something better. But it's mostly the fact that it's special based. Um, I'll go Agile because she'll be quick. One more fight, one more fight. Rattata should be fairly painless. Because we've already seen how awesome Rattatas are. And while Scrum is not as good as Pancake, still a good Rattata. Feel bad about coming to heal. Yeah, right there. Man, we're running. We're biting. One more, fine, one more. Alright, now we go heal. Alright. Should probably call it a night soon, but I've made you guys sit through this much. So we're at least gonna go beat up my manager. Go beat up the manager of this place. Let's go. First thing you do is crit me? That's rude. Pull out our best defense here. Next is going to be the Charmander. The awkward thing is, I can't risk that. I can't. We can't swap back into Drill Down without it being a clean switch. So I think we're going to go with Bite. Just 
just because Optimize is the one I'm most willing to soup, uh, soup sacrifice. Doesn't mean I'm gonna sacrifice unless I have to, though. Really, you're faster? My Rattata's kind of garbage. Are you kidding me? Ah! That sucked. Are we gonna are we gonna wipe here? No, because I got a quick attack. What am I doing? Just almost wipe. Also, I'm surprised I didn't survive the ember. you have to live on like one hit point. I'm gonna take a look at some stats here though. Yeah, like if we hadn't got, like if I hadn't risked the quick, quick attack, we would have lost two more. Well, I guess we lost two anyway. We probably would have lost... Like, I could have swapped into Optimize, thrown that away. And then we probably still would have lost... Drill Down, because I thought we would be faster. And then we probably would have lost Agile and Scrum. Like, Agile or Scrum. Like, we, we would have lost one more if I would, wouldn't have went for that quick attack. But damn if that doesn't hurt. Well, Sandra, you were fun for a minute. But you've been outsourced. Alright. <clears throat> I think this is where I'm going to end it for the night. I guess real quickly I'll update this so I don't forget. Oop. Oop. To four. This to five. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Until next time, take it easy.